All right, well, welcome, guys. We are finally here. We're ready for some fights here at the Empire State Plaza Convention Center for Mike Tyson's Fight Night 52. Cage Wars 52. Welcome, Iron Mike. Thank hey. you for being here, champ. Yeah, it's such a happy to be here, man. I can't believe I'm back here where it all started. We are here with the legendary Mike Tyson, and you said it best. Back where it all started for you 35 plus years ago, it was 19. 86. No, 1985. 1985. Can we hear Mike okay? I'm having a hard time. Am I being here well? I can't hear me. Okay, we oh, got put a little bit closer to your face, champ. There you go. Hello? Can you hear me, guys? Yeah. There we go. Uh, yes. And you, you, I mean, 1985, you stepped foot in here as a teenager. Yeah, I was 18 years old when I had my first professional fight. I, uh, I, I, was on, I was on YouTube earlier today watching it. It was a first round knockout in about a minute and 42 yes. seconds. What is it about that that day, or is there anything about that moment that you even can recall taking you back to when you were just yes, a kid? Yes, I was in a, I was in the dressing room. I was a customer of my great mentor and guardian, and um, I say this is my time to make my mark in history. And and you knew, did you know at that? Point after that win, that things were going to snowball and move quickly because you were fighting four or five, sometimes six I had times a year. Fights in um, one year. I had a great mentor, and um, I couldn't fail without him. Love it, absolutely love it, Mike. Looking at the evolution of mixed martial arts, if you were a young man coming up today, do you think that mixed martial arts might be something that interested you with boxing or? I would probably train, but fight. They don't make much money unless yep. you Conor McGregor is through the brilliant marketing strategies. And um, I, I'm a fight. I'm a boxer. I love fighting. I love to watch two bugs fight. <laughs> I just, um, I love fighting. I love the UFC. That's great fighting. And I think um, you're not going to hear the last of this. This is going to be the fastest raging. The fastest rising combat sport in the world. Combat a fastest rising. Absolutely. Now, I, I do know that you recently put out the instruction with Coach Cordero from, uh, from yes. Kings MMA. Absolutely. He's amazing. He's a great. The gym is not the same as he's not there. He lights the gym up. Now, how did you hook up with Coach to, to do pads and work with him? I believe um, we had um, someone that we were both familiar with and knew well in the fight business. And he connected us together. And normally, I'm, I didn't think it just it was just magic. He's just amazing. That, that, that's great to I'm hear. just so appreciative and grateful that, he's, that we have him in our life. That's amazing. And was it different hitting mitts with him as opposed to a traditional boxing guy? He is a traditional boxing guy. Well, I knew he kickboxed and Muay Thai. I didn't know the traditional but boxing. But it's still the same as punches and yep. kicks. Put, thrown in a different direction. Have you thrown any kicks on the mitts with him yet? No, I tried to kick one time in Europe, and it just didn't turn out right. <laughs> no doubt. You don't have to, Mike. You know, with, with mixed martial arts, it, it, it's such a di striking is so different in boxing. You can sustain a lot of punishment over the course of 10, 12 rounds. And you know what? We'll, we'll get to this question in a okay. second. We'll get this started. Thank you, Mike. For Mike Tyson's fight night. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in yesterday 145.8 pounds. Representing money, mixed martial arts out of Rochester, New York, the Tiro Snake, Sammy Macamba. And his opponent across the cage fighting out of the red corner. This he weighed so in exciting. yesterday 144.6 pounds. Representing Grit and Gratitude Wrestling Academy out of Springfield, Massachusetts, Thomas the Truth Duffy. Thomas and the Duff man in charge of the action when that door closes, Dan Mergliata. Thomas Duffy may be 0-0, but he's out of great gratitude wrestling where our current heavy, our light heavyweight, or yeah, middleweight champion, John Verouette, is out of. A lot of guys and girls fighting out of that camp, so I, I believe he's going to be much better than his 0-0 zero zero record coming in here against Macamba. Well, Mike Tyson himself just looked at me and smiled and said, this one's going to be a good fight. You sensed it, right? Or are you, just re are you just ready for some action, Mike? Is that no, what? No, absolutely. I'm ready for some action. <laughs> and I come here, I inspire these guys to give it their best. And that's just what I want to do. You know, and that adds a whole other dynamic to these young athletes competing in front of you. You know, there's got to be that extra layer of excitement and, you know, stress. Well, listen, I don't know if it's me, but I know when they had ex-old champions in the, um, the crowd, I wanted to uh, really impress them. Yeah, absolutely. I wanted to get their, uh, I just wanted to get their, their vote of approval. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's the same for all these folks tonight, yeah. champ. 
Mike, are you able to, were you able to in real time sense the crowd and the energy and the feeling toward you when you were fighting? I'm going to tell you something very interesting. Ask some fighters. When I'm in that ring, when I'm in my tip top peak shape, I can see and hear everything in the crowd. Absolutely. When, the you're, zone. In your, when you're in your best shape you could possibly be. Like, for instance, I had a fight, fights over four rounds. And when the fight's over, I go to my friend. Who was that girl in the red dress you were talking about? And he said, get the hell out of here. You have not seen me in the fight. That's bull, Mike. Someone told me. You did not see me with that girl. We've got some ground and pound action I love here ground now, and Mike. Pound. You like that? Imagine. I love, no, I love that more than the striking. Have you ever thought about what your how your career could have been different if you could have hit somebody after you knocked them down to the canvas? I wouldn't want to see that happen. That's when it gets a little too barbaric. It's a very interesting, it's an interesting <laughs> perspective, but yeah. you've always had that kind of, you were, I think you always thought that the violent aspect of it was just something that you had to do. I don't know that you, that you loved it all the time. No, um, I realized this, and I don't want anybody to take this for a joke. I realized the more I hurt somebody, the more they love me. Yeah. That makes sense, like a gladiator yeah. in the Coliseum. Now, is that dark? It's, no, it's a gladiator I, in the Coliseum. They love so bad. No, they wanted love so bad they were willing to kill somebody for it. Yeah. 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 It's human nature at its most primal form. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thomas yeah. Duffy making this ugly fight on the feet with Sammy McComb and putting the I pressure know, but they're on. Scoring. They're hitting oh, each yeah. Other. That's, they're hitting each other. We yeah. Th these guys came out and they, uh, they wanted to put on a little striking exhibition for you, champ. Duffy cut up over the left eye. I'm a wrestling guy now. As I watch um, martial arts, I become a wrestling guy. I love it. The evolution of Iron Mike. No, really, the science. I love it. The science of wrestling is off the chart. Right now, this is this is just a good old fashioned. Yeah. Buck so kicking go, now. When he comes up, you should go down. That's why I learned. When the guy comes up, you go down on his leg. Thomas Duffy, looking to end this round emphatically, looking for that takedown. Boom. He secures he it. it. He got the takedown. Makamba's got a very strong chin. He clearly lost round one, but he's not out of this fight. He, yeah. And th there, there's some blood on his opponent right now. It, it, it's probably one nothing, Duffy, but Makamba's not out of this fight. No. Not at all. They're both very, very tough, very skilled young men. And, you know, to the folks at home who might not have watched with us before, the shin guards, if you see shin guards on these athletes, it means they are novice rules, mixed martial artists who have three fights or less. Uh, those folks, you cannot ground and pound to the face when they're on the ground. And, again, you do have the shin guards. You can ground and pound to the body, just not to the face. So it adds a little bit of a different dynamic, allowing these athletes to mature and evolve. And that's what should happen. Yes. The guy shouldn't get in his first fight gets, um, gets obliviated or loses courage and loses confidence. You gradually work everybody up and they're equal. And, and you know, we used to see that years ago. You'd see a guy come in and get pounded out and then you never see him again. You got to develop fighting. Develop yep. give him confidence, then put him in the big time. Yes, sir. Can't take him off the street and put him in with the champion at all. Mike, do you think that you're the, the, the last of an era where Champions were crowned at age 19, 20, and 21 years old, or do it's you? possible. I want to see my record broken before I die. I love it. I it it seems unlike. It seems unlikely. You were tw 20. 20. Yeah. Seems I unlikely. See, I, want to see I, I don't think we'll ever see a heavyweight like that again. Maybe a smaller class, but a, a young man yeah. like you able to dominate full-grown men at that age is is unheard of. I want to see it broken. Uh, I, that'd be my, that would be my my bucket list. Why? Why is that? Huh? Why is that? I want to see somebody else calibrate. Yeah. You, so in other words, you're ready for the next Mike Tyson. I want to see somebody surpass me. Yes. Respect. Absolutely. If you don't, if you don't want to see that, you're not a fighter. Love it. You'd be too stuck. Isn't that something? Oh! oh there it is. Right-handed no. Duffy. And that's we, it. We said he wasn't out of this fight. Big Dan stopped it. Straight right hand Good on fight. the button. Good stop. Oh, and yep. he. Look at him. Good stop. And Absolutely. Good stop. And, and Mike, you've seen that with some of your oh, Dan, opponents. Dan over Steady the years. and Thomas Duffy here. And, and we're going to see this replay in a second. You'll see the short right hand. It's so ironic when they see a guy like that. He's not in physical pain. His legs are just arms. He just lost. Look. He just. The coordination just spaz out when you hit the chin on top of the head. You spaz out. You're not in pain, but you're coming alive. Oh, God. Nervous control. system short circuit. You does, can't control anything. Does the fighter know at that point that he 
He's yeah, rendered humble. useless. Yeah, Here's the result. Here's the, the replay. Watch that right hand coming. Boom! Right oh, on the chin. There it is. Right hand to Duffy. That's yep. it. Right on center line. Stayed there for it. Good job by Sammy McCombo. And a good stop. Here it comes too. right here. Lines it up. Right hand. Bang. Oh! There it is. Right hand to Duffy. That's yes, it. Sir. He said he wasn't out of yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good damn stop. It. Wow. Well, right when Mike comes to town, we saw stop. we saw a knockout. And a good one at that. He made him do the stanky leg. Stanky leg. Respect to Thomas Duffy, Warrior. Respect to Sammy McComba, both these young men. Yeah, both these guys did the best, the absolute best. And you can't take that away from me. No way. Anybody that has the courage to step inside this cage or a ring it is... It, it took me to retire to find out that this. I had to... Um, I realized this. There's no bumps in there. No. But when I turned 50, I realized there's no bumps in there. I fought Roy Jones. I mean, there's no bums in fight. No. The, no the, the, just the work it takes to get yes. to fight day. No bums. Can we talk about that Roy Jones fight, by yes. the way? Yes. You look dang good in that Roy Jones fight, and it was only a year and a half ago. You know, Everybody wants to know, when are you getting back in there again for another one of those? Against you know, the J Jake Paul. Everybody wants me to play. Hey, listen. Jake Paul's awesome for boxing, and I don't see it. I have to be hating. We all hate me. We all hate. Did J Jake Paul has called you? Ha has he called you out? Many a time. And That's okay. I like that. Have you ever got? Have you ever even gotten into talk money, or has oh, it not got, there it is. gotten that right far? Hey, that's it. We said he wasn't Lots out of this of fight. Good dance, money. Would this, right right this be the kind of? Would this be like top ten money for even Mike Tyson? It'd be, yeah, it'd be, it'd be money like I've never seen before. Wait, but you were making forty million dollars. Listen, if I was making forty million dollars fighting guys like what big stuff. Uh, um, in fact, if I would go over there, I'd make four hundred million. I'd be, listen, it's just Jake Paul is the best thing that ever happened to boxing in many, many, many years. Bringing a lot of people into the sport. Do, do you have what? that? They're like, bringing a lot of people. Like, like what? Seventy million? Yeah, Ton tons, tons of a lot of people. Seventy yeah. million? Yeah. Listen, man. Listen. I know he's I, white, blonde hair, blue eyes, the best thing in boxing. The game boxing. I want to revisit that. I, and I it's gonna it's gonna be interesting to see that Hasim Rockman Jr. fight. Who's he fighting? Uh, he's fighting Jake Paul. Wow, August sixth. I don't know what he's gonna do. After watching his last fight, he got stopped by. Um, Tommy, Morrison. Tommy Morrison's son, yep. Tommy Morrison's son, he's very consistent, he's focused. Yes. He, my friend said he's going to knock him out. I said, no way, he's going to knock him out. I'm going to hold. What's going on? I think they cut our mics off. They did, they definitely did. Okay. They got to let us know, could you? All right, we're back. All right, we're waiting for the final decision in the ring. Big Dan and the and the uh, doctor is searching and uh, looking over Thomas Duffy right now, wishing him the best again. Definitely a little worse for the wear after this fight. I, I, that was going to be my question, Will. Are, are we in a delay mode right now? Are, are we waiting for him? Yeah, to, they're, they're to, assessing. Ed okay. Kinner from the USMTA is up there. Big Dan is up there. The doctor's up there. They're assessing Thomas Duffy, making sure the fighter's healthy. He's okay because, as Mike noted, when you get hit in the chin, your nervous system shuts down. You can't function. So they're making sure they're doing him right. Let's get deeper. Some fighters have aneurysm and they never bust probably two years, three years later. But they may have got it in one fight, but won't bust it like four fight fights later. Then it's a wrap. It's a dangerous sport. Yeah. Any combat sport. You can you accidentally bump somebody's head and die. Yeah, you can. Isn't that something? I, I, I know a, a, a friend of the family's friend actually fell down the stairs, hit his head. He was like 50 years old, broke his neck, quadriplegic, and died. Anything can happen. Take life day by day. Life at the flick of the fucking life. Referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to the fight. 42 seconds into round number two. And due to an illegal strike on the ground, this fight has been ruled. A no wow. contest. Yes, I told you. Listen, I thought I was thinking. I said he hit him again. Wow, I was thinking that. The no contest. Well, due to due right, to we'll New York State replay. novice rules, ground and pound strikes are not allowed for the first two rounds of the fight. First two rounds. First two bouts of the amateur fights. That's so, listen. Wait, wait, but we so thought... Crazy. So this I, fight has been ruled a no contest. I, I thought we saw ground and pound in but round no number one. Yeah, no ground and pound in the face. So I don't know if yeah. they had to... But when he got hit, he went back to wild, something's wrong. 
Here we go. We're going to get the replay right, here, right. guys. I mean, at that point. Here we go. Though, Watch. Here we go. He's going to hit with the right hand. Let's see what happens after he goes to the ground. Oh, yeah. He hit him in the face on the ground. Yep. Big Dan was kind of standing in the way of the camera view for us, so we kind of missed it. He did follow him I down and hit him. I seen it, but I didn't know the rules. Yeah. So no ground and pound in the face. That's what happened. After two rounds. I think he misspoke. It's after two fights. I, 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 right, the first two fights were no ground and pound. At least that's the way I understood it, too. Unless that's a recent change in New huh. York State. But, yeah, no, he hit him right on button when he was on the ground. So that that's understandable. You know what stinks is he didn't, I mean, he didn't have to either. I mean, the fight well, listen, was. Listen, it's a foul. Nobody lost. Yep. And, it, you know, Mike will tell you it's that killer instinct. A lot of times you're reacting on your natural instinct. That's why only the best professionals have control. Yes, sir. They have control. Was there a, was who what fighter your opponent had the most control? Holyfield, incredible fighter. The most control? Yes, he's just an incredible fighting machine. So, was he? When you look back on your opponents and you fought the toughest guys in the planet, is is Holyfield the guy versus you that? you felt like was the most complete fighter coming back at you? Yes, because it is. He's very anal. Okay. Boom, boom. Very boy. He's very anal. You're not gonna you're not gonna break his concentration. Even when you're kicking it back, he's very anal, like a robot. Methodical, systematic. He just, he, 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 he's consistent. He was a machine. Consistent and tough as they come. Did you know that going into your did you did you know yes, that before yes. the first fight? I've been, I've been around since I was fifteen. I've watched them. You know, it's funny because 15. we watched the lead up of that fight and we thought there was no way that you could lose to a guy. Listen, um, you know what happens? How my family humbled me. I was watching the MMA and I watched um, New Year's Opinion fight. I watched the first fight and then, and I, and then um, her agent is my agent pretty much, my business partner. And I said, no issue. She's going to get oblivious. This is an animal. And my sister said, they thought Buster Douglas wasn't going to win. My wife said, oh, no. they didn't think Buster Douglas was going to win. Oh. 